My first degree is in industrial design. I studied at the Polytechnic of Turin and uh, I was designing, you know, we were designing washing machines and uh, air conditioning stuff, etc. Um, so I guess that from between that and what I'm doing now, the industrial part has kind of left, but the design part has very much remained. Um, and actually it was during my I think, second year of industrial design, uh, we were given, so this is about 20 years ago, we were given a, an opportunity to do a workshop on food design. And I went in and there was a guy dressed like a chef and he was a chef and he was teaching us to design with food. And my mind was like blown because we were doing washing machines and air conditioning and all of a sudden realizing that I could design with food instead of, you know, wood, plastic or steel or whatever. Um, my life took a turn and, I, and my path was kind of decided in that moment. Because the thing that excited me the most was the fact that if I design with food, what I design disappears. And not only this implies to me the biggest um, form of trust that my users can have towards me because they get to ingest what I actually design, but also what I design disappears. So it means that I'm not really designing products, but I'm designing for memories. So this became the crucial part for me. And this is the reason why I shifted more towards design and design theory applied to food design. How can I help designers, food designers, to design for memories, to design stuff that is remembered in the years and not you know, forgotten? So that is the part that uh, fascinates me the most about food design.